Welcome back to the channel. We're back with another gi video. Yannick is helping us out. We're going to show you lapel attacks from the close guard. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start off in close guard. Um, before we get started, today we will focus on attacking with the lapel, controlling my opponent and submitting her from there, or sweeping. But besides that, as soon as I start opening up my opponent's lapel, this will usually trigger a reaction of any kind, which I'm happy with. As long as she's not passing, and if she, uh, if she panics and she starts grabbing the lapel, for instance, all these things I'm happy with. I can go for triangles if she reaches back. I can go for the arm if she reaches forward. So grab the lapel. We can switch, we can go for kimuras. So anything that I, uh, any reaction that I trigger, that's okay. So don't only focus on doing the system. But besides that, we now have something to focus on and start attacking from the close guard without opening my guard. So if your guard just relies on playing close guard and throwing arm bars from here, you're opening up your guard too easily. So what I wanna do, I wanna control my opponent on this cross side. The thing that I like about this, this grip is I can pull and push simultaneously. I can keep my distance a little bit and I wanna open up her left side lapel, yeah? Left side because everyone cross, crosses their gear left over right. I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna hold it like an ice pick, yeah? At the very end of the lapel. Now, we're gonna distinguish our uh, submissions and our setups here in being in front of her arm, yeah? Uh, please uh, defend. Being uh, across her arm, so trapping the arm like this, and being behind her arm. Now, behind her arm is our main goal today, to go into the lapel guard, but um, just gonna quickly show you what I would do if we're in front. I do this from knee shield as well. I wanna pull my opponent to the side, and wrap this lapel over. I can never reach her head from here, it's way too far. Even if I use my abs to sit up, it's, it's a bit too far if she keeps posture. So I pull her in, and I'm not gonna use my hand, I'm gonna use my legs as well. I don't pull her towards my chest, because then I have a hard time reaching. I'm gonna imagine pulling Yannick to my side, boom, wrap over, and my elbow goes underneath, and I choke her with my right hand, and this one keeps in the collar. Okay, so I pull her to my side, wrap over, I'm side, sideways angled to Yannick, so I'm looking into her ear on the left side, and I lift my elbow and choke. So it's just a quick choke, it's not my main goal, but it's out there if I can stay in front of the arm if she's hiding the arm. If she's defending anyway and I can trap the arm with my uh, lapel, I can give it over to the other side, yeah? And I have this arm trapped, which I can use to set up triangles from here. Or if she extracts her arm, my arm goes in, I go underneath and we have this modified Ezekiel-like choke, which is very powerful because if she sits up, I'll just follow up we put the pressure on. So these are just some setups if she keeps the arm behind or in between. Now our main objective is to put this lapel behind her arm. As I pull her forward, get her posture, and I give it over to the other side. Now my left, arm, my left hand is going to control the lapel, yeah? and my elbow is going to go inside her collarbone. So my palm's facing me. Now this is a bit of, of an important grip, because if I go this way, yeah, if your knee posture's up, I still have a lot of control over her neck. You feel that? But the problem is she can use her right arm to base in my bicep and break, yeah? So I wanna close all that distance. As I reach over, I control her posture. I reach over, I take the point of the lapel, and my elbow goes to the inside. If she wants to break on my bicep now, it's super tight. Now to control her even better, my secondary hand is either gonna reach inside, and I do the same thing on this side. So I have good control, even on bigger and tougher opponents, if you wanna sit up, it's very hard for her. Or she has to use her hands, which I can then attack, okay? So we keep control here. Palm facing towards me. If you have some trouble, you can also just reach here and take it down. But this one is having the main control. My foot goes on the hip to prevent her from rushing forward and stacking me so I can keep my distance and slide away. So as soon as we get to this, like, um, this base of control, we're now going to switch up for some submissions. Our first submission setup is going to be controlling the hip, controlling the posture pulling her down, and switching my arms to the other side. Now mind you, there's some space between your knee's head and my grip. That's intentional, because that's where I wanna get my hand in for the choke, as deep as possible. If my initial grip is very deep, then my choking grip has to be on the outside, and it becomes way, way less tight than it's supposed to be. So that's why my initial grip is on the tip of the lapel, and as I switch for the choke, I go as close to her neck as possible. Now you might already see the setup coming, we're going for a form of cross collar choke. So if your knee would just stay like this, it's very easy. I can reach to the other side, grab and finish. But we don't live in a world where your is giving me all the space. So she's gonna tuck everything down and it's very hard now for me to reach. Now we have two options to get to the other side and get the grip to finish. One, we can be a bit uh, 
a bit harsh for opponent, I just put our elbow on the temple of the head and bring her to the side and finish there. Or I can use a hip thrust like I would do if I cross the arm in a triangle as I throw my opponent up and AB to the side like this. Boom. So even if, she's, uh, if she would be bigger and heavier than I am and keeps everything tight, my hip is so strong as I base on her hip and on her back and I throw it up so I can switch to the other side. Boom, there. Now to finish up, I don't fall down on my back and take the very end of my possible choke with my hand and cross here. I can get a nice step here, that's no problem. But if anything happens and she, she posts up, I will lose everything. So I'd rather sit up and start choking with my elbow in her neck. That gives me the choke. Then I have so much more room for error. I can slide down to my forearm, wrist, and if, that, if, sorry, Yannick, and if that's not working, she's sitting up, then I finally have the hand. So we've seen this before. Um, I like to do this before with, uh, for instance, overall guard. Same thing applies. If I reach with the hand, and I'm at the very end of my possible submission. If I just put the elbow on the side of her neck and pull with my wrist, I get the choke as well. And I, can, I still have all this room for error until I get this choke. But usually I get the tap here, 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 and then that's my final option. So don't settle for the, for the final one. So once again, we get the lapel to the backside, control, keep control of the posture, switch my hands, lift her up, put my elbow on the side. Guys, all I have to do is put my elbow on a carotid artery and pull with my wrist. So I'm not pulling down, I'm turning my wrist to the side. Well, now Yannick's head is moving with it. And that's where my elbow is to prevent that and I get the tap. That's our first submission. Next one. So once again, for the setup, we open up the lapel. Anything that happens, any reaction we get, if you trap the arm, if you can attack the arm or sweep her, that's good. We go behind, switch, control. I'm gonna do the same thing, switch up. Get the initial choke grip. Now this time, Yannick is defending with her left hand. Yeah? She doesn't want me to get any grip. That's okay. I'm gonna grab the sleeve. And I'm gonna pull her arm all the way across my body to the opposite side. And I sit up. Now it's important to sit up and crunch my body. So if she wants to pull her arm out, it's stuck. Okay? Now I'm gonna do the choke. And instead of my second hand, her shoulder is choking and blocking her on the other side. So what used to be my elbow now becomes her shoulder. So once again, grip fighting. I control the sleeve. Sit up. Squeeze, and I get the tap here. Yeah? Okay, so from this position, if you have trouble getting that second tap because your shoulder's not right in place or you're too shallow on the lapel, look what happens. Then we're just wrapping around, there's no pressure. So I have to be very tight here. If this isn't working, I'm gonna keep control of her posture, switch my hand from the lapel, AB to the side, switch my feet, and now instead of pushing her head away for the armbar, I found out that I really like grabbing this lapel and making a form of a lever. So this hand is controlling a posture and my elbow is pushing her face away, you see this? Now I use two hands, pull your arm out please, Yannick, your left arm, that's stuck. And then we go over, I still control the lapel and I can finish the armbar from here, boom, there. Okay, so we go for the initial choke. Yeah, this one, she's defending, go for the second choke. She's also defending or it's not working, switch over, control her head and finish up with this armbar here from close guard. All that with the same lapel setup. Okay, for a final part, we're gonna look at the other side. So we get to the lapel, we wanna choke. Now the problem is, she's basing her hand on my posture, and I have a very hard time reaching up. I keep control of the choke grip, I'm gonna pop her elbow to the inside, I'm gonna sit up, boom. Now, you can see I'm getting back exposure, so that's my main objective. I switch my grips, with this one I'm gonna pull myself up, and I'm gonna base on my right arm. I'm not gonna stay close to Unique, because she will pull my base out. So I circle out, get up. I'm gonna make something that looks like a technical get up. I can either base on her hip or on her back. So my right leg has to be light. So I'm gonna base, pull and base as I AB and turn to the side. Now I have long legs so I can go for a body triangle, but usually you should go for your hook, okay? Now the best thing to do is obviously go for the back. Might be that Yannick is preventing me to get the second hook in. Yeah, so her left elbow is low uh, and she's blocking. Nonetheless, I just got back exposure. I have to fight for this back control. Now, if she's focused on the hook, I can always switch down to the arm, bring my shin behind her head, and finish either a belly down arm bar here, or look towards her legs and flip her over and start working my, mount, uh, my top arm bar from here. Now, so for the final one, um, yeah, just real quick, pop the elbow in, switch to the back. Obviously getting the back and getting your hooks in would be your main objective.
Yeah, getting tempted for the armbar, I think it's, it's really nice. There's also a nice triangle there, there's some variations. You can dive for the truck, etc. Yeah, but my advice is just get the hooks in, score the back points and start choking from there. Yeah, we have some nice chokes. We look without the arm, with the arm. Uh, if we're behind the arm, we can also not give the, the lapel to the back side for control, but loop it over to the front side and start working here for chokes. So there's a lot of stuff here possible choking with the lapel. The main objective is just working your guard and improving it. Instead of being here, or day one white belt just pulling the collar down, yeah, just start working with the lapel, open it up, and just get to the better form of control without ever opening your guard and throwing your legs out. From here, go for one of the basic chokes, switch up with the grip, switch to the armbar, etc. Yeah, all with the lapel. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're gonna do another video with this on top positions. Uh, it's gonna be slightly different. We get more pressure but we lose the space behind the back from guard. Uh, you'll just have to check it out. Unique, thank you so much. See you guys in the next video. Peace.